Yeah, guys, I know you caught me again. <laughs> Seems like every time uh, I turn the camera on, I think it's going to take a while to come up. So, I, you know, I do something, it comes on earlier. Anyway, guys, it's good to be here tonight. Today is uh, Saturday, November the 3rd. Makes it a 308 on our Daily Bread Project 2012. Guys, i got to try to make this quick. We've got a lot to do still yet. Even though we get to set our clocks back an hour tonight, get that extra hour of sleep, or at least. You know, a lot of people act like, you know, like the rest of the year. You know, like when you set your clocks back like that, like, oh, I like this time better because you get that extra hour of sleep. And I'm like, no, you don't. I mean, if you go to bed at 12 and get up at 7, let's say, on the old time, and now you go to bed at 12 and get up at 7, you're getting the same amount of sleep. Uh, now maybe the tonight, the night that you set them back, now you you will get an extra hour. But that's the only night that you get the benefit. So anyway, I ate some butter pecan ice cream a minute ago, guys. I've got some pecan pieces kind of still floating around in my mouth. But anyway, uh, I see what was on my TV back there. Commercial. I've been watching. Uh, don't even remember now, guys. <clears throat> But I love having uh, the BBC America on this satellite, and I've got the Velocity channel. Uh, I love having having those. I watch those just about continually. But anyway, guys, like I said, it's it's good to be here. Guys, I'm sorry for not being here last night. This goofy computer, um, and it's never done this before. And I was to be honest, I was afraid it was going to do it tonight, but it worked good tonight. Um, everything come up and did everything right. Guys, the computer wouldn't hook up to the internet. I've never had that happen before. I mean, there was nothing wrong with my internet. My other computer worked. It worked through the router. I took and unplugged the router out of it and plugged straight from the modem into this computer. I mean, everything was good there. It's just, I don't know. It, it got some kind of glitch in it that, uh, you know, you'd go open up Firefox or Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, whichever one you wanted to use. I'll try all of them. It would open that page up, but, you know, it would come up and say, you know, you've got a connection problem. And uh, I fooled with it, guys, and fooled with it, and there could get it to do anything. And today, you know, I, I guess, I don't know if it just is setting, you know, all night and all day and cooled off. I don't know. Today comes up, everything working good. So, anyway, guys, I'm sorry for not being here, but, <clears throat> you know, like I said, I don't know. Maybe I was hoping before the winter. To get a new computer in here and get it replaced, you know, guys. But with all this stuff going on, having to pay all these taxes and all this stuff, I don't know. I just don't see that. So everybody pray that this computer will last to at least spring. You know, at least till, you know, maybe I can get all these things paid and business picks back up where it should be, and and uh, you know, I can get a little money extra to to do this. So, uh, but I think it'll be all right. I think Lord take care of it. So. Anyway, let's see what else. Uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, really nothing new going on. Uh, as always, you guys can see this tonight. Probably most of you won't. But if you see this tonight or early in the morning, pray for our church service. Um, I guess that's about it, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to think if there's anything you know else I need to say or anything, but... You know, like I said, just normal stuff, guys. Pray for me. The devil's attacking me hard here lately, guys. I'm not going to lie about it, you know. He's doing it through this tax deal. Uh, you know, I told you guys about that other tax deal, that letter I got from the IRS. Prayed and prayed and prayed that that was going to be some kind of mess up or something. It's not. It, of course, I don't know, guys. They got on their, from like last year, that I still owe them like $1,300 in tax for last year. And guys, when I paid my taxes last year, I paid them. I mean, I paid I paid it in full. I mean, you know, I always do my at the end of the year get an extension, and I paid what they said to pay. So I'm I'm still thinking that one's a mistake. Uh, we're gonna try to find find our 2010 receipts, and you know, maybe hopefully find the the uh, cashier's check receipt or or whatever how we paid it, because I know that last year you know, was paid in full, and that's what I'm saying, they're showing that it's not, so, anyway, uh, I owe them, you know, like I said, you know, I owe them 5000 and some dollars now, 
uh, which they're, you know, they've agreed to take $200 a month. But I mean, guys, you know, when you're barely making it anyway, you know, $200 a month, uh, you know, I mean, that's, that's a lot. So, I mean, I'm not going to lie, guys, I've been strained to my, to my wits end. I've thought two or three times just, just, cause just to be honest about it, I never had these problems until I started pastoring the church and what little bit of money that they, they, they give us and you know it's it's basically just enough to cover your expenses anyway i mean it ain't like you're making any money but that was just enough money to just royally just royally pardon the language but screw me on my taxes and you know it's just got me so aggravated and i thought two or three times you know everything else like i told you guys the other night i'm dreading this christmas drive through i don't think we want enough people to do it but then I don't want to really tell anybody that because I don't want to make some people mad. And, you know, people that are, you know, when you're having eight and ten people a week, you know, you you know, I hate being in that situation. I hate not being able to say what God puts on my heart. And sometimes it's, it's me wanting to say, say it, but at least I try to listen to God. I can't even say what I feel like God puts on my heart most of the time because we're sitting here with, with so few people that I just can't, you know, I'm sitting here going, well, I can't take the chance of making anybody mad. Because if you make one person mad and they take their family, then you're, you know, you're you're down to having two and three people. So, like I said, guys, just pray for all that, you know, because like I said, it just, you know, between all that, the aggravation, I mean, I have, I've, I've really had to soul search this week. I've thought two or three times about quitting the church this week. I mean, I'm not going to lie about it. Uh, and I know that's just the devil trying to get to me with all this, uh, you know. You know, between, you know, like I said, literally in a month, having $10,000 worth of debts come upon you that you, you know, that you, you know a, a month ago didn't know I owed. And, you know, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's heavy and it's disheartening and, and, you know, it's just, you know, add that on, on everyday life, add that on top of the coal business going down to nothing around here and, you know, worrying about that, worrying about it, all my buddies and everybody else that's, that's that makes her living and doing that and worrying about okay how long is it going to take till my business gets down to nothing because of that uh you know and then this election and then guys i'm don't, don't get me wrong I, I'm, I'm a man of faith and I, and i believe god can do anything he wants uh but it's going to take god to come down and uh and and do a supernatural working for the christians to win this election i mean that's just the truth we've got too many vagrants we've got too many uh unholy people in this country you know i mean that's just it they're gonna vote our devil president back in i mean I, there's there's to me there's no doubt of that i mean you know he's gonna win it uh so you know like i said unless god steps in and does something you know but like i said guys we just gotta have faith and believe it you know, whatever happens, the Lord's still going to take care of us. And it, it's at least, it's either His will or at least it's something that's going to get His will done because He allows it to be. So, guys, like I said, just pray for me. Just pray for me. Please pray for me hard. Guys, James chapter 1, i got to try to hurry. I want to try to keep this around 10 minutes. James 1.1 1, 1 says, James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. And I think it's kind of fitting that I'm reading this tonight, guys, going through the trials that I have been. And we're going to, I'm going to try to make it to verse 12, because verse 12 is a real good verse that I like. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. And guys, right here's where we all have the problem, is just doubting. For the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Let the lowly brother boast in his exaltation and the and the rich in his humiliation because like a flower of the grass he will pass away you know guys that's what me and dad was talking you know about these people we were talking about these people that are making their money the and it's, and it's rich people that can afford to do this that are making their money by doing this deal like they've done to us by going and paying people's property taxes buying it stuff 
You know, and like I've talked the other day, most people that's not paid the property tax, guys, I mean, they know the repercussions of it. Most people do, just like we knew it. When people come up and can't pay it, they can't pay it. I mean, you know, that's just a fact of life. So going and buying people's property tax, charging them two, three, four hundred, five hundred percent interest on it, and knowing they say, well, either they're going to pay me and I'm going to make this big bunch of money, and I could care less whether it destroys them, I could care less whether whether they have to starve to pay it, they'll either pay me or I'll get their land, I'll get their property, or I, or I can force them to sell it, and they'll pay me. I mean, so either way I win. I mean, that's the way these people look at it, guys. They're so greedy for money. That's all they care about. They don't they don't know that they're destroying. Well, they, they do know. They don't care that they're destroying people. But you know what James says right here? And the rich in his humiliation because like a flower of the grass, he will pass away. That's all they'll have, guys, is what they've got here. You know, and it's a, it's, it's sad to say, but guys, when they when they die, like my, me and Dad was talking the other day, I said this, I mean, I pray that this person that, that owns this company, that owns this little company that's doing this, that bought ours, I said, I pray that they turn and get and get saved. But the fact of the matter is, most people that are that enthralled with money, that do stuff like that, I mean, they'll, they'll, they don't care and they'll never change. But, you know, that's the thing. No matter all the money they got, the, the new Mercedes and the BMWs and the big houses and the money in the bank and they, th and, and, and they think they're the top of the world, guys, when they die and they open up their eyes in hell, I mean, it just, I mean, you know, just think about that. As soon as they open their eyes up, within a second of opening their eyes up, I know that they're going to think, you know what? I'd give everything that I had on the earth up to be out of here. And it's going to be too late. And that's sad. But so many people are going to be in hell. I heard a guy talking about that this evening, that Jesus preached. I don't remember how many times he said, but he was talking about how much Jesus pre preached on money. Most people won't, won't really agree with that, but he did. Jesus preached on money. And that's what he was talking about. It's because money is such a big part of it. My mom's always said that, and I've always said it too, that more people, I think, will be in hell over money than anything else. More than more than anything. Their love of money and their, their ruthlessness and just their loving money more than they love people. But anyway, guys, verse 11, For the sun rises with its scorching heat and withers the grass, it flowers, falls, and its beauty perishes. So also will the rich man fade away in the midst of his pursuits. Now verse 12, guys, this is where I want to get to. I'm going to quit. Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial. For when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Guys, up there where I work out, my buddy, a long time ago, he put up a poster there, and it's still there behind the weight bench where we, we bench press. And it's got it's got like a picture of, it, you know, they, they translated it and changed the words a, a little bit, but it, it shows a guy standing there with his football helmet in his hand. You know, it just shows kind of that. And it and it says this verse right here. You know, blessed is the man who remains uh, steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. You know, uh, I think it's a different version, you know, instead of King Earth. This is, uh, what are we on? The ESV version. Uh, it's a, it's another version of this, and it's not the King James either. There must be another one. But anyway, you know, I, that's true, guys. We just and I'll be honest about it, guys. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not near a hundred percent. That's one of my problems. Is I when these th when these things hit, I tend to when they hit, I may take it all right, and it seems like part of the way through it, I kind of have my stumbling. You know, I kind of, uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of waver a little bit. And I mean, I thank God that 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 I've got dad and I've got people around me and, and that he, he he grabs me and he holds me and he says, okay, now don't don't lose it. You know, you're, you're still going to make it. Don't, don't lose your faith in me. But I do stumble, guys. I mean, I do. I, all of us do. Uh, but I just pray and I hope that I can get there to one day to where when these things, these problems in life arise that, that I am perfect and I don't waver, you know, in my faith at all. So pray for that for me, guys. Love you all. Good Lord willing, guys. I'll be here tomorrow night. Until I see you all again, good night and God bless.